I think that uh, uh, because of uh, overloading of the radio, it creates image of uh, the other uh, broadcast shortwave uh, stations, and uh, uh, the carrier goes through also in this frequency. The but for those that don't know, this frequency band is uh, the forty meter band for amateur radio, and because of the carrier goes by this uh, exact frequency, uh, 7100 kilohertz, uh, the M radio is totally perceptible, not at uh, 100% like uh, M radio, but you can recognize what they are saying. So let's see, see more again. Five nine. Echo Victor Sierra Charlie. Thank you. Sometimes we can uh, hear more easily, but uh, just to show you that uh, because of the overloading of a uh, broadcast uh, shortwave station, let's turn to other frequencies. Uh, let me see if I can find any strong game radio. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's, uh, you cannot recognize what uh, they are saying. What you are hearing that uh, right now, that's the normal uh, sound that does it like uh, on a short wave that uh, doesn't have a single side band. But uh, as you can see right now in 7100. You can recognize what they are saying. That's fabulous. Maybe this is a, an hidden feature. It's totally different from the other frequency, as you can see here. Uh, uh, in this fre uh, in the, this frequency, you can recognize everything. Thank 
As you can hear, uh, maybe it's the carrier sound, you hear some little whine and uh, they change the frequency as I change also the frequency. Let's hear. Can you hear? The ding ding. Maybe it's the carrier. Let's make the the talking acceptable. From now, from on, uh, I will uh, explore the, that maybe uh, even feature to let's see if I can uh, find more uh, frequencies that I can recognize M radio. So thank you for watching this uh, amazing video. Uh, so see you in the next DX video. See you soon.